And our very first student that I'd like to invite up is Annalise Krauss from St Mary's Section C. Good evening, Chairperson, Adjudicators, ladies and gentlemen. If I had three wishes, the world better watch out. I know what you're thinking. I should do the right thing and use my three wishes to solve the big issues. Addressing climate change, achieving world peace, and ending poverty. But I figure the sensible adults are tackling those problems. Right? So if I had three wishes, I'd try to use them wisely, but might be tempted to have a little fun with them too. If I had three wishes, one of them would be that I could pause time. Imagine the fun. When Dad arrives home with a bucket of KFC, I'd pause time, breathe in a chickadee goodness, and pick the delicious skin off each and every piece. <laughs> I'm concerned for my family's health. That stuff is delicious, but a health nightmare. I'd be doing them a favor. Come to think of it, when we do sit together to enjoy dinner, I'd pause time to savor those perfect moments. Even though I never tell my siblings, one day I'll miss sitting around the table sharing stories and fighting over chicken. So for my first wish, I'd pause the outside world to spend more time with my family. If I had three wishes, another one of them would be that I could turn invisible. Then I'd sneak into the movie theatres and watch the latest flicks. But before heading into the theatre, I'd raid that amazing wall of lollies that Mum says is seriously overpriced. I long for the day when I indulge my sweet tooth without restrictions from my parents. I mean, I only have four cavities. They may have a point. Whenever I devour sugar, I tend to experience some embarrassing side effects. Speaking of toxic gases, when I'm a responsible adult, I'll become an environmental officer, flick into invisible mode, and catch criminals damaging the planet. Exhausting work. Luckily, I have that lolly wall to keep my energy up. For my third and final wish, I ask for the power of mind control so I can become more popular. Alas, freckles and hairy legs aren't in at the moment. I can convince people that freckles and hairy legs are stuff that supermodels are made of. Or even better, I could convince people to see the beauty in everybody, rather than focusing about the things they can't change. That would be something. If I had three wishes, the world better watch out. Because although I try to use them wisely, I might be tempted to have a little fun with them too. But ultimately, I tried to make our world a beautiful place again. All right, our next student is Amrita Tak from Warri High. Good evening, Madam Chair, adjudicators, ladies and gentlemen. How wonderful would it be to really have three wishes at your disposal, to know that you have some magical wand to really make a difference. If such a blessing was truly within my power, my wand would be waved to reduce suffering. Ladies and gentlemen, have you ever walked down the street and been confronted, or perhaps approached by a homeless person begging? I think we all have. I think we've all felt that discomfort of truly wanting to be kind, Sometimes being afraid to help, feeling pretty helpless, maybe having a sneaking feeling of judgment, but basically being awkward and not knowing how to truly make a difference. Knowing that in a country as prosperous as Australia, everyone should have shelter, a safe place, a decent dwelling. I can't imagine living out on the streets without the support of my family, without the comfort of my home, so my first wish would be that every Australian has somewhere to call home. My second wish would also be to alleviate suffering, but this time of animals. It's depressing when humans are struggling, but in some ways I find the plight of abandoned animals even more heart-wrenching. I guess this is because the animals have rarely played any part in their abandonment. 
When I first realized some heartless people treat animals as disposable, I struggled to understand how they could be so cold, cruel, and abusive. I think to myself, do these people even have a heart? I am left speechless at the suffering of creatures who have been tossed away or left in filthy, dire circumstances. It's not as if these animals can walk to Centrelink or social services and apply for help. No, they depend on human intervention. So my second wish would be that in our community, animals are treated with respect and cared for appropriately. Keeping with my theme of relieving suffering, I cannot ignore the suffering of our precious environment. Though three wishes are probably not stretched far enough, realistically, I need many more wishes to cure our biosphere. But we have to start somewhere, somewhere that is within our power. So my third wish, with the wave of my wand, is that Australians take care of their rubbish. We need to stop dropping it. We need to stop polluting our waterways with it. We need to recycle it and stop expecting other countries to be dumped with it. With the sweep of my magic wand, we'll all be making sure that this unique world we live in is not clogged up with unnecessary waste. Well, well, my magic wand has run out of power, but I'm dreaming that it has done some good. They were better off because of its work, and its twinkle has relieved suffering. But wouldn't it be wonderful if we could all do the work of my wand? Focusing on bringing hope to the homeless, whether human or animal, and bringing hope to the environment by not choking it with our waste. Maybe, just maybe, we don't really need that wand. Now our next student is Amanya Medenya from St Andrews. Good evening, Chairperson, Adjudicators, Ladies and Gentlemen. Having three wishes is a big responsibility. Imagine what could happen if those wishes got into the wrong hands. Oh, but don't worry, I'm perfectly responsible. I'm going to use my wishes for the good of the world. And, of course, just a little for myself. Firstly, I love the reef and all marine life. Crown of thorn starfish eat coral reefs. They are very dangerous and are a real threat to other marine life. They are part of the reason why our beautiful reef is being destroyed. So this is why I would use my first wish to eradicate all the crown of thorn starfish to help restore the beauty of our own world heritage site. Poaching. Did you know that poaching has now become a huge threat to wildlife? Approximately 96 elephants are killed in Africa every day. 96 elephants a day! In the year 2015, 1,349 rhinos were poached. I don't know about you, but this shocks me, and I wish I could end this extreme cruelty to animals from poaching. Because what is a world without animals? This is a huge issue all around the world. Some beautiful species, like Sumatran tigers, white rhinos, and elephants, are being driven to extinction. So this is what I would use my second wish for to end poaching. Now, my third wish would be something really cool for myself. Powers of flight and invisibility. You know, like Peter Pan. Imagine what I could do with these powers. I could do good, like a spy working for the police. And what about pranks? Oh, and to fly places. I never have to worry be, about being late anywhere. Flight and invisibility. Yup, that's what my third wish would be. Now that my three wishes have been granted, I'm going to take a flight around the world. 
to see how the changes have come in. I can see a beautiful reef with thriving marine life. I can see happy wild animals living peacefully in their natural environments. And even though I can see these changes, no one can see me because I am invisible. So now I'm going to call up all the students from Section C. First up, we have Avalise Krauss, St Mary's. Amrita Tuck, Laurie High. Amanya Medina, St Andrews. Section C. All right, here we go, drum roll. The winner is Amanya Medinia from Andrews. Amanya spoke of three wishes. Congratulations. So, yes, time for some photographs. <laughs> 